Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. So guys, we have an unboxing and a housing to do. In this box here, I have three Linothoid Megafoloides. This is a Mygalomorph spider. I've actually had one of these before. I had an adult female about eight years ago, and I have never seen a spider web up as much as these. You can get the OBT, they web up a lot. You can get Avix, they web up a lot. But this Linothoid Megafoloides, oh my God, on believable guys so like i said there's got i've got three in here this is from portsmouth tranchlers i got my orphanaceous filipinas from that company as well so i have three enclosures here uh, i've just got to put some substrate in there and um, like i said they keep webbing up absolutely loads so just keep spraying the web with some water to give them a drink and um, yeah fantastic species and um I can't believe I've actually got them. I've been looking absolutely everywhere for this species. And um, yeah, so let's open the box and uh, let's take a look. So guys, with the box open, we have another box. Feels like Christmas. <laughs> so These are supposed to be around the three to four centimetre mark. And adult females get to around about the five inch mark. So they are, they are fairly big. And like I said, there's three of these in here. And there is, there is number one, 10 pound each, which is uh, a very good price. There's number two. And there is number three. So guys, let's just quickly have a look, see if they're okay. They should be okay. And they're absolutely tiny. And they're nowhere near three to four centimetre. And I've had this problem before, guys. They're more fanacious Filipinas I actually got. They were supposed to be two centimetre. And they were absolutely nowhere near. So, but they do curl up their legs a little bit, so it is very difficult to get a exact measurement of their leg span. So, yeah, they're fairly small. They should be okay in them tubs. So that's the first one. Let's just have a quick look at the other ones. There's a, another one there. As you can see, that goes. Beautiful little species, and uh, my red runner roach colony is doing really well. The females are laying loads of uthicas, so hopefully they'll hatch soon, and we can get some babies to feed these spiders. And uh, my orphanaceous Filipinas, yeah. And there's the other one there. You can see they actually have really long spinnerets, and that's to do all that webbing. So, while we're here, guys, let's uh, get some substrate in them enclosures and uh, rehouse them into their new home. So, guys, I've decided to use a smaller enclosure, and as you can see, I've put some substrate in the two. So, let's just put some substrate in this last one here. And I just felt that the tubs that I showed you earlier, they're a little bit big. And um, with these ones, they've actually got... Uh, ventilation holes in the side as well and actually in the lids so I've done three tubs as you can see and I have my spray bottle so let's just give the substrate a little bit of a spray just so the spiders can take a drink and when they web up I can actually spray their web and they can drink from there so there we go guys so the last thing to do is to put the spiders in their new homes so guys, let's just sort out the first one. And like I said, they're only absolutely tiny. Oh, they'd be, be a little bit uh, bigger, but uh, it's always not nice to watch them grow. So there is the first one just there. They are a little bit, oh, they are fairly big. I'll give you a better look, guys, when in their new homes and there is the first one so 
let's put that lid on because I don't want it to escape. And I'll show you how beautiful they are in just a second. So let's get number two. I'm hoping the quality is okay, guys. So yeah, they are fairly... This one don't really want to come out. So let's just take the, take the tissue out. Just give it a little touch. And here it comes. Number two done. So let's sort out number three. I hope everybody has a nice weekend and uh, we're all getting ready for the for the football on Sunday. Well, hey. <laughs> so I am thinking about getting a, a light, guys, or a desk lamp. Because the lighting can be a little bit poor in here. So, same again. It's just, I am absolutely shocked, guys, that I've actually got some of these. And like I said earlier, I've been looking absolutely everywhere for some of these. One's gone on a, on a walk. And there we go, I've caught it. So let's take a closer look, guys. And there we go, guys. There is number one. And I can't, unfortunately, I can't zoom any more than that. I'm just using my flashlight. And there they are. Absolutely stunning little species. Not too sure how big males get. Uh, never had a male before, but uh, presumably they actually get uh, a little bit smaller than the females but like I said the females get to around about four to five inch in leg span um, if you want to look at my old female guys I'll leave a link in the description if you want to take a look at my old uh, video I think that video is about six seven years ago and you'll see how much she actually webs up back in the day but so uh, yeah there is number one so let's just take a look at the other ones So here is the, the other one. Ah, there it is. Let's use my flashlight. Uh, oh, let's look at that one. Look at that. Look at them spinnerets. Oh my God! And they're as long as the legs. <laughs> but yeah, absolutely stunning, beautiful species. So I'll leave them in here just for a couple of days, and I'll give them a feed. So let's just have a look at the last one. Sorry about the noise, guys. It's just next door neighbour. He's like Alan Titchmarsh. He's always in the garden. <laughs> and there is the last one, guys. So I'm hoping and praying that I actually get a female out of these three little guys. And uh, fingers crossed. Because they're absolutely a stunning species. And um, thank you to Portsmouth Tarantulas for... Sending me these beautiful little morgalomorphs. And um, should we just have some fun feeding these little guys? So I hope you enjoyed this video, ladies and gentlemen. And thanks for watching, everyone.